ਦੇਖ ਕੇ ਕਰੋ ਫਿਰ ਮੂਡ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਇਆ ਗੁੱਡ ਈਵਨਿੰਗ ਫਰੈਂਡਸ ਇਨ ਆਵਰ ਟੌਪਿਕ ਗ੍ਰੀਨ ਰੈਵੋਲੂਸ਼ਨ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਕੰਟੀਨਿਊਇੰਗ ਦਿਸ ਸੀਰੀਜ਼ so this green revolution is very very important for the general studies as well as environment and essay writing also and here the green revolution before dealing with the topic i will be going into the the brief introduction of the what are the factors led to start the green revolution and so which factors led to start led to start green revolution and and what are the factors inputs you can say that inputs included in the green revolution in the green revolution and what are the impact what are the impact either positive or negative on the indian environment indian soil how it disintegrated the society and how it created regional disparity or inequilibrium in the society and now government of india bringing that second green revolution in the eastern india what second green revolution so it might be coming in the exam so second green revolution very very important it started in the 2004 but yet to come this one and what are the inputs involved in the second green revolution is it necessary to start the green second green revolution and how it can impact because already we are having the first green revolution positive and negative and we become self sufficient or self reliant so we have, we have to know that what is the difference between this self sufficient and self reliant you must understand these points because based on that earlier uh, one question in the main self sufficient self sufficient alag hota hai self reliant also different self sufficient and self reliant right you must understand this one if you understand carefully this one and this topic not only in the geography part paper 1 as well as in the paper 3 gs economy also it is very useful in the agriculture topic and students are demanding that sir please explain this topic so that we can able to learn and we can comprehensively not only that here how this topic will be integrated with the current affairs especially sustainable development goals is there any convention with respect to the green revolution or protocol and what is the difference between the convention and protocol you must know that and i will be giving brief introduction this part green revolution then we will be starting so what happened after independence after independence india is perishing under the food insecurity and we were not having the food grains and so many people they are dying due to especially you know bengal famine the bengal famine is the eye opener because the it realized the the importance of the food grains for the people right because br during british regime they were not focusing more on the agriculture sector always they are they were encouraging the commercial crop commercial crop not useful for the food security rather than you can export and import where like for example you can say the cotton indigo these kind of crops always were being encouraged by the british and finally it led to the famine of the country so here 1956 1956 and india approached the india approached usa right and we have agreement pl 480 it is a staple food and we had that agreement in that agreement we brought wheat wheat is 3.1 million tons wheat kitna hai 3.1 million tons and 0.19 million ton is rice right so these two crops are water relishing crops 
वाटर गजलिंग क्रॉप वाटर इंटेंसिव क्रॉप वाटर कंज्यूमिंग क्रॉप ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड सो एर्लियर वी वर यूजिंग वाटर रिलीसिंग वाटर कंज्यूमिंग नव न्यू टर्म वाटर गजलिंग क्रॉप means they take more they suck more water from the soil and they can grow they can thrive when they grow what happen they derive or they take nutrient from the soil and exhaust the fertility of the soil when they exhaust the fertility of the soil obviously what happen then soil will be fragile mean it will be dying for example daily you are working very hard and you are not taking or replenishing with the nutrients what happen your body also dies right in the same manner the soil is being i mean the crops especially rice wheat barley and other crops always they are taking nutrients we are not adding cow dung manure and other things what happen it rend it is rendering salinity or alkalinity or water logging conditions right so here green revolution p under pl 480 plan pl 480 plan we had agreement with the america but they were sending the rotting food grains were rotting staple food grains and we realized that it is as a democratic sovereign country it is demoralizing our confidence for that purpose the indian government realized that we are not gonna get or not to buy american food grains because the rotten food grains where they were using for the pigs and other things for feeding of the pigs now we have to feed on that rotten food grain because we were not having we don't have any other option obviously you have to come consume to serve for survival purpose and we started slowly the green revolution model sir you are saying green revolution green revolution what it really means the green revolution the area will be green by growing the crops why are you growing the crops to make the food security of the country and it is not confined to only particular country or particular part of the country and initial stage like pilot project and whether it is successful or not just we we wanted to trial and certain pockets of the country like punjab haryana uttar pradesh and south like east godavari west godavari and kaveri delta region in tamil nadu we tried the it was so successful but before that the purpose of the green revolution to increase food security of the country to reduce malnutrition and undernourishment and to increase employment opportunities and boost the food grains in the country also so different different factors led to for the the to start the green revolution in the country what are the points what i am saying here so here if you take the green revolution in green revolution the which factor led to for the led for the formation of the green revolution food security purpose and to generate employment opportunities employment opportunities right then to reduce regional disparities regional disparities anything else then food security employment opportunities to boost to boost staple food grains staple food grains in the country so these are very very essential because if you take the punjab and haryana or you can say north ganga plain in the north ganga plain what happened especially in the west coastal plain east coastal plain and uh, uttar pradesh and uh, bihar and uh, punjab and haryana here the soil is alluvial soil 
already i explained that what is alluvial soil it is also called transported soil aggradational soil depositional soil or immature soil azonal soil or burwara soil so different different names because burwara busara already it was in the exam so they might have again they can ask this uh, based on this burwara busara fertile sterile right zonal azonal in situ soil ex situ soil they will also ask as they will also ask here right so these are the some of the factors which led to and not only that self sufficient to make or to become self sufficient of the country especially in the staple food grains i am not saying entire the food grains especially rice wheat these are major consuming crops in the country yes or no so north indian people majorly consume wheat when it comes to south rice so now you are having doubt sir why north indian people are north indian belt consuming north indian belt consuming wheat and what about the rice in the south why they are consuming this clearly observe the peninsula region more suitable for the rice cultivation the reason being that this region gets more rainfall over 100 cm to grow rice over 100 cm rainfall is required and for wheat 75 to 100 cm rainfall is required and in the north winter season is present cold conditions are prevailing to overcome that you have to eat wheat wheat kya karega aapko garam the it increase warm condition and when it comes to rice and you are in the tropical region and in the peninsula region temperature is more if you take wheat what happens it increase your body temperature for that purpose you have to eat rice so that it can reduce your body temperature that's why the people in the north and south they are consuming the rice and wheat i i hope you understood this point and it decrease your body temperature it increase your body temperature because it this region is come under the tropical region it come under the subtropical region or warm temperate region i hope you are understanding this point now this green revolution so these factors led under the pl pl 48 this is also previous year prelims question ab dhyan se dekho pl 480 we had agreement with the america now we started the green revolution and factors led now the green revolution is having so to start the green revolution what are the inputs are required inputs is high yield varieties i mean seeds and irrigation and third capital right fourth mechanization and labor right and fertilizers are pesticides right 1 2 3 4 5 6 these are the some of the major inputs i am so, other than these other points also there but major why we have to read why we have to use high yielding seeds or varieties because they are having short term crop they can yield more and of course they are water intensive that's why we selected selected like pile pilot project particular i mean punjab haryana up bihar and here south region and for that purpose they are water guzzling crop ye likh lo ek bar ab water guzzling crop water guzzling mean water releasing you can say that water consuming or you can say water intensive these four terms also you can use so this water guzzling crops we cultivate we needed the irrigation mean water is required either rainfall or snow melt in the north in the in the himalayan region so this irrigation is very very vital place vital role in the agriculture input 
then capital for example if you want to start the green revolution you need money so that you can start in a huge area capital is also required for that purpose government of india providing for the pilot project money also those who are starting the green revolution in particular parts of the country apart from that mechanization for example tractor thresher these are the required for example plowing purpose always you cannot go with the uh, cows and all you need mechanization for that purpose you need capital capital and mechanization also provide in the green revolution and labor so in punjab haryana labor is less that's why the up eastern up and bihar people and some of the people those who are not having those who are facing the employment opportunity unemployment they gone to the punjab haryana for the employment opportunity purpose they got the employment they were working and they got the some of the skills and again back to their home place okay and we will be learning that point and pesticides and fertilizers right fertilizers and pesticides why this is so important for example you are cultivating any crop not only rice and wheat you cultivate any crop there will be pest attack this is attacked fungus or any bacteria so what happen you need pesticides and fertilizer for fertilizers to increase the yield pesticides to control the pest right so here if you carefully observe the pesticides fertilizers consume more what for consume more capital capital should be required without capital you can't work you can't do anything right it is not organic farming or natural farming even natural organic farming also you need cow bullock this and that because to mobilize the resource you need capital but here the purpose of the green revolution to make the food security of the entire country it is not confined to only particular part of the country that's why here huge capital is required i hope you are understanding the capital we were using for the food security and self sufficient purpose self sufficient we were in the food grains rice wheat these things and self reliant means whatever you are having resources first depend or rely on your own resource rather than import or depending on others it is the self reliant so here this green revolution was so successful because it was mobilized and capitalized and supported by the government of india finally it accomplished in rice wheat and other food grains but it neglected pulses other things we will be learning in the achievements and the problems and negative things right these are the some of the things because already this topic i explained you here i am giving brief introduction about the green revolution and all right after that here green because of green revolution what are the problems what are the problem ecological as well as what are the things first problem if you know just you can tell me here one is soil erosion and second forest cutting or you can say forest cutting or deforestation right deforestation and third heavy mechanization right fourth and pesticides and fertilizers then pollution pollution in the form of how many ways noise pollution air pollution and water pollution three types of pollutions are present here and what One, two, three, four, five, and sixth point: water logging. Water logging, and seventh point: salinity or alkalinity. Right? Salinity and what? Salinity or alkalinity? Then regional disparities. Regional disparities. Right? Regional. disparities see green revolution the 
problems we are dealing about the problems and what are the issues with the green revolution right and they also created unemployment unemployment increased unemployment increased right so other factors also we will be learning right so first you carefully observe here soil erosion here if you take the punjab haryana this region receives 65 cm rainfall how much cm rainfall 65 cm rainfall to grow the rice or wheat you need wheat and rice for wheat 70 75 cm is required at least minimum this one above 100 cm rainfall but punjab haryana receiving only 65 cm what about other other irrigation so you have to take through irrigation uh, irrigation or you can say canals canals you have to get that water to produce food grains or staple crops right so in this region what happen you are more intensively cultivating and you are using pesticides and fertilizers they are losing the losing chemical composition of the soil chemical composition of the soil you can also composition of the soil soil chemistry also being changed by the the practicing the green revolution so whenever they are practicing the soil the i mean soil they are keep on plowing with machines and mechanization they are using heavy pesticides and uh, pesticides and fertilizers and when they are spraying on the agriculture practice and here the pesticides has to pin the pesticides they have to mingle or mix up with the water not only that air also people are inhaling the pesticides when they are inhaling it impacting on their nervous system when it is impacting on the nervous system finally inhaling finally what happened it is causing the cancer it is causing cancer you can say cancer right so this cancer especially in the punjab region there is a train we can call this cancer train so this cancer train from the punjab to bikaner in rajasthan most of the patients in the train cancer affected by practicing agriculture so here this soil erosion and forest to cut the to grow the green revolution you have to cut the forest and wherever the fertile lands are present to increase or to boost or to make the country uh, self sufficient especially in the staple crops rice wheat generally we have more these crops only right so further purpose forest cutting then lead to deforestation that deforestation leads to desertification what is the desertification here expanding the deserts is called desertification so it is also one of the reason then heavy mechanization so you are using tractors and threshers and other things when you are using these tractors and all the heavy machines has to go on the field they bind the soil and it makes the soil very hard when it makes the soil very hard and rock and whatever the micro organism present on the soil surface are just beneath the surface of the soil and they will be dying by crushing this mechani i mean the tractors and all and these micro organisms are earthworm essential for the growth of the plant a uh, plant which is sown in the field and the because of mechanization what happened the micro organism which are helping for the crop in the helping are pivotal they are playing pivotal role in the food grains increase that is also died so you can also they say this point here then after that the pesticides <coughs> pesticides and fertilizers so you have to use pesticides for what 
बिकॉज दे आर अटैक्ड बाय डिसीज आइदर फंगस और बैक्टीरिया सो यू हैव टू यूज अदरवाइज एंटायर क्रॉप विल बी वैनिश एंड फर्टिलाइजर्स व्हाट हैपन ईयर ईयर बाय यू आर ग्रोइंग बिकॉज इंडियन सॉइल्स मेजरली लैकिंग द न्यूट्रिएंट्स माइक्रो न्यूट्रिएंट्स अदर थिंग्स सो फॉर दैट पर्पस यू हैव टू यूज द फर्टिलाइजर्स सो फर्टिलाइजर वी आर नॉट हैविंग डोमेस्टिकली इन द कंट्री एंड वी वर इंपोर्टिंग from the other country not only we were importing we are importing we are going to import from the other countries also because india is a vast country we need so much nutrient and fertilizers to produce or to make the country food self sufficient self sufficient continuously or indefinitely we need the fertilizers now organic farming or integrated farming these kind of farmings are coming but they are not i mean they can they can you can achieve that those goals but it takes long time right then pollution pollution is air you are using pesticides right that will be evaporated in the air and mix up with the air you will be inhaling children's will be inhaling and they will be going into the food crop or food chain you can say that food chain or you can say food web and that lead to bio accumulation bio accumulation or you can say bio magnification bio magnification what bio accumulation and bio magnification the pollutant which enter from the environment to into the first organism is called bio accumulation bio magnification the pollutant enters in the last organism from the first second third fourth it is a bio magnification recently indian council of medical research also found that the pollutants present in the milk i mean cow milk and women milk also and not only that the crop is also having pollutants that that is leading to bio accumulation as well as bio magnification means you are endangering the not only human race human race but also biodiversity what comes under biodiversity here plants animals microorganisms you can use in the proper word flora fauna and microorganisms it is part of the biodiversity you must understand this one so this pollution air and water for example somewhere they are cultivating the crop and they are using pesticides and fertilizers that will be mixed up with the water and that will be reaching uh, through canal or pond or stream or river and someone is taking or drinking that potable water and they will be taking all the pollutants and finally it is leading to bio accumulation and bio magnification you must understand this point so if you understand the bio accumulation and bio magnification then how is how noise pollution because you are using tractors earlier you are using animals and plowing so it is very normal it is not disturbing disturbance over the ecology and ecosystem but now you are using tractors for cutting purpose for harvesting purpose so here they are making the noise that noise disturbing the disturbing the not only particular region as well as the birds which are traveling or migrating from one place to other place when they are listening these kind of sounds and all what happen it is impeding their journey you can also write and not only their journey as well as for example you are continuously hearing the sound pollution or noise pollution it will impair your hear because it is breaching or exceeding your hearing limit that is also one of the matter you can also write here pollution you can write noise air water right then water logging condition what is water logging condition if you are cultivating any crop right this is the canal water is present right in this canal you are continuously using this water for the field and this region the water will be seeping here water will be seeping both the sides and not only in the canal periphery canal in the 
field also that water logging what happens the continuously water after some time water table will be increasing so when water table increases through the capillary action you can take here field through capillary action the nutrients will be deposited over the surface of the earth when they are deposited over the surface of the earth through capillary action and the water cannot be penetrated and the ground the roots the tree the plant which is having the roots they cannot penetrate into the soil because here the water logging condition is very very dangerous if you take the jhajjar rajasthan haryana and punjab and indira gandhi canal india's longest canal indira gandhi command area canal in that region the water logging is very extremely prevailing now because of water logging so continuous water is present in that region in the canal region what happens they are providing the the facilities for to grow the mosquito it is the breeding mosquito center you can say mosquito breeding center because of water logging condition so water logging condition they are depriving the nutrients as well as rendering the crop or the soil is unfit and they are providing facilities for the or basic like we are saying basic amenities tara in the same way they are providing conducive environment for the mosquito breeding center also when mosquito mosquitoes increase it led to the malaria disease especially in the water logging condition this is also one of the reason right then salinity and alkalinity so the, actually this region is having more temperature less rainfall but you are cultivating rice or wheat intensively so you are continuously cultivating and exhausting the fertility of the soil you are not adding even you are you are adding that is artificial and this salinity the sodium potassium mang magnesium potassium content is increasing when this sodium potassium increasing the salinity alkalinity is increasing for that purpose to overcome that government of india indian scientists especially the agriculture scientists advised to use the gypsum what gypsum gypsum in the crop especially salinity alkalinity soil so that what happens salinity and alkalinity will be come down try to use you can use this point gypsum and use our grow salt tolerant crops what i am saying salt tolerant crops can you give me any example salt tolerant crops for example spinach right spinach is the best example then regional distribute uh, disparities are differences so because of green revolution which part of the country is more developed more benefited punjab haryana and south some of the states i mean particular area but what about the eastern part of the northeastern part punjab uh, gujarat maharashtra madhya pradesh they are not benefited by because it is a pilot project the farmers became rich in the punjab haryana and some parts of the country but large part of the country they are not being benefited by this green revolution it also led to the regional disparities rich poor <coughs> owner tenant so here also disparities increased between the region as well as within the people also you must understand this point and unemployment inequalities how sir you said that because of green revolution employment opportunities increased where in particular area but when you are using machines tractors tractor will be replacing 15 to 20 people work so now 15 to 20 people are losing their work and because of mechanization you are using machines right so when you are using machines you have they are replacing the labor force obviously you will be losing your employment so it leads to the unemployment also right then the soil is having proper chemical composition the chemical composition is being come down now 
because they are having certain proportional uh, proportional part this year that has been come down by the it rendering the soil texture or chemical chemistry of the soil also now right so these are the some of the points of the problems of the green revolution side effects one is soil erosion and forest cutting deforestation heavy mechanization pesticides and fertilizers excessive using pollution air air water and noise pollution water logging condition right salinity alkalinity for salinity alkalinity purpose you have to use gypsum right then regional disparities increased because certain parts of the country is only more developed and unemployment inequality unemployment also increased how because machines are replacing humans right and chemical composition so these are the uh, problems associated with the green revolution by practicing right so what are the steps to be taken to for the green revolution purpose हम ग्रीन रिवोल्यूशन के लिए क्या क्या स्टेप्स लिया था अभी बता सकते हो क्या नौ इफ यू टेक दी ग्रीन रिवोल्यूशन वी आर हैविंग सॉइल हेल्थ कार्ड सॉइल हेल्थ कार्ड एंड नीम कोटेड एरिया नीम कोटेड यूरिया राइट नो वी आर हैविंग एंड what are the other point and per organic farming right natural farming you can say here one more integrated integrated farming right so government is giving subsidies they are encouraging organic farming and so they are also using soil test lab and mobile vans for the measuring and all and some of the steps taken by the government of india to increase or to create awareness among the farmers to reduce the side effects like for example salinity alkalinity then you are excessively using nutrients it is not good for the crop also right some of the steps steps take paramparagat paramparagat krishi vikas yojana that is organic farming right because for that purpose government of india giving 5000 rupees also they are also farmer produce organization also they are coming together to boost the encourage for, uh, for encourage of the food grains especially in the staple and other uh, other sector also right allied sector you can also say then green revolution achievements green revolution achievements first point what is the achievements of the green revolution it increased the production or productivity of food grains food grains here especially staple food grains right staple food grains and green revolution created employment more employment opportunities and it also reduced burden on the government burden on the government how because we are not importing not importing food grains now not importing food grains now because now we became self sufficient self sufficient right now people got or you can say realized technological importance technological importance or you can say collective effort collective effort and here self sufficient mean now became rice wheat we are producing more and food security we achieved and we are not importing especially rice and wheat 
rather we are exporting for example if you take the basmati from the punjab haryana <coughs> even though we are having gi tag we are competing with the pakistan in britain so india earning over 7 billion dollars because of the basmati rice the foreign reserves foreign exchange reserves are increasing they are contributing our growth <coughs> foreign trade also balancing trade deficit right so you can write green revolution and it also reduced malnutrition and reduced food uh, food security increased food security reduced hunger poverty so hunger is the sdg goal number 2 and poverty is the sdg goal number 1 must understand this try to use try to use hunger sdg goal number 2 and poverty goal number 1 so try to use sustainable development goals if you add these kind of points you will get more marks in the mains so tomorrow come in the prelims right you know from match the following sdg goal 1 2 3 4 and this side poverty hunger employment women education summer something something right so they will be adding match the following at least you have to do you have to know the number so that you can use effectively in the answer right so green revolution is the food security hunger poverty you can write this one and we are not importing the food grains now rather we are exporting and to again in a some other food grains also government of india bringing the second green revolution also so try to read those who are writing for the mains now this year 2023 try to read green second green revolution right and uh, uh, here and they are also creating employment opportunity technological innovation and fertilizers industry and pesticides industry more came up in in the country and it is boosting our economy our gdp you can also add the gdp right gdp also bad raha hai especially in the primary sector primary and agriculture and allied sector this sector is contributing over 16% of the gdp you can also add this point and in india over 60% of the people 60% of the people depend or hinges over the the agriculture and allied sector sir agriculture okay what is allied sector horticulture and physical sir other things white revolution ye wala pura aapko allied sector mein aa jayega so try to use in that perspective and these are the some of the uh, green revolution achievement and problems so green revolution mein problem ko aapko pata bata diya na depletion of the ground water because always you are using the pump sets jab pump set se zyada use kar rahe ho to kya bolega ground se pani aa jayega and you will be using always continuously using and niche kya hoga there is no water jab water ne soil health bhi kharab ho jayega for example in your body there is no moisture what happen finally you will be dying no rendering aapko kuch bhi ho raha kuch pata nahi hota hai so in the same way soil is also having health that health is influenced by the water water plays vital role in the soil health and microorganisms which are <coughs> providing conducive environment to soil growth as well as the plant growth also so try to add in that perspective here right so these are the some of the points and the brief introduction of the green revolution and uska factors kya inputs kya tha and problems kya tha and what are the achievements of the green revolution what are the steps taken by the government of india and now second green revolution hum discuss karenge and there should be cooperation and coordination between the central and the state government especially in the green revolution so that effective use of resources so you need not to depend on other countries to import the food grains in any form right so these are the some of the things whatever you are having any <coughs> online students you can ask me now <coughs> so that i can communicate right <coughs> any doubt students online those who are watching so please you can communicate now 
so if you are having any queries try to ask me so i will address your problem now theek hai na so it is very very important if you are having those who are watching online any place you can send your answer this one i will be seeing your copies and all especially mains so i will help you those who are writing mains also please come up with your answer so that we will be effectively and i will help you in your progress not only upsc journey other journey also you know especially this will be helpful for the gs1 gs3 and sc may be aapko acha sa dhang se use ho jayega so aapko basic information de diya hu inke bare mein aapko kuch bhi doubt ho to mujhe aa jao ek bar milo so aapko acha sa information main de dunga theek hai na so ye aapke liye main green revolution acha sa liye leke aaya hu इसको ऊपर आपको कुछ भी ओपिनियन इफ यू आर हैविंग एनी ओपिनियन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू ग्रीन रेवल्यूशन आपको कमेंट कर सकते हो लाइक कर सकते हो एंड यू कैन शेयर इफ यू लाइक दिस एंड आपका पास किसी इंफॉर्मेशन है मेरा पास आ जाओ आपको ट्राई टू एंड वी कैन इंक्रीज यूअर कैपेबिलिटी मैं आपके साथ बैठता हूँ आपका इंफॉर्मेशन ऑप्शनल जोग्राफी स्टूडेंट्स के लिए जोग्राफी स्टूडेंट्स ऑप्शनल एंड जी स्टूडेंट्स कम अप विद दैट आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू चार्ज एनी एंड एक बार आ जाओ मिलो वट एवर यू आर हैविंग लाइक ना वी विल बी वर्किंग ऑन दैट पार्ट ओके थैंक यू ऑल